Oh, a greenhouse. I don't have one. This is one of my clients' greenhouses, and it's really a nice little unit here. I was here about uh, four weeks ago when I gave a bid for a job, and she had just planted it. We put a few tomatoes in here and a few other plants. Holy mackerel house! <laughs> Those tomatoes have just exploded. Look at that. They were only about uh, six inches tall when I was here a month ago. Now they're four feet tall. We've got strawberries down there. One of the nice things about a greenhouse is it does minimize the insect activity, the bird activity, all the critters that would normally invade a garden. It also keeps the temperature a little bit more temperate. Um, you have to be careful though, they can heat up and everything can really cook in here. Seems like she's got room for a lot of hanging things and it's uh, barely, barely taken off here. Looks like she's got a few, can what, a cantaloupe here? And a watermelon? Now that's not going to work out so great here because those are really wide spreading plants. You have to be careful when you have a confined space like this, you have to choose plants that are going to adapt to the environment rather than trying to force something that might end up too big. But we'll see. I'll, I'll come back in another month or so and we'll see what these watermelons and cantaloupe plants look like. And outside of the greenhouse they've uh, got some contained plants. They've got quite the gopher problem here so they've got everything in containers. They've got some runner beans up on a couple of trellises that they purchased and it'll work but uh, they really for this type of situation they really needed something that would get up about uh, Oh, six to eight feet high. These uh, runners will really, really overwhelm a small trellis. But uh, nice greenhouse. I've got greenhouse envy. Green with envy.